Hello, me amigos, and possible amigas. My name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to another episode of Reading Your Comments. It is Thursday or Wednesday for those of you watching early on Patreon. Shout out to the Patreon crew, possibly watching this on Wednesday. But regardless of what day you're watching this, let's read some comments. Do you ever get annoyed with people leaving pointless comments like this one in the hope that you'll read them out in your comment videos? Hmm, no. No, well. Nah. Well. In regards to the mainland episode, I would say, well, it's not essential to watch One Foot in the Grave first. Say it's preferable because of Victor Modu uh, reference runs throughout the episode. Whatever you decide, uh, you'll still enjoy it because it's a great episode. Richard Wilson was hilarious in it. I think that's a good way to sum up both arguments. And yeah, I'll watch One Foot in the Grave first. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do an episode, but uh, I will see an episode before I see the mainland episode of Bob Ted. You should definitely consider watching Only Fools and Horses episode Friday the 14th, next month on Friday the 14th. Hmm, that is an interesting proposal. I was supposed to do Jolly Boys outing next month as well. Maybe we could fit in both. Big fat quiz of the week. They haven't gotten that regular yet. Well, I mean, if they was that regular, I've got a feeling people would watch it. It'd probably kill the specialists of the show a little bit, but I have a feeling it would do well in the ratings. That and give Jimmy Carr more work. Have you ever wanted to visit the UK? If so, what part? Hmm, that's a good question. I have a lot of friends from Yorkshire, so... It might be a good place to start. Black Adder is always a request for me. I know you have two episodes of Daily Motion, but I would love more. Can watch in the order, but I leave serious now. The last, I actually have three technically. I did an episode of Black Adder goes fourth, an episode of Black Adder two, and the um, oh, excuse me, and the Christmas Carol uh, during December of last month. My goal is still at the very least to do one episode from every series. So I still want to do an episode of Black Adder three and an episode of Black Adder one, even though some people don't seem to like it. I so that's my goal. I want to get an episode of every series done, and then after that, maybe we'll see where we go from there. Great reading your comments video. Silly question, what has been your favorite show or episode to react to? Episode, I couldn't tell you. Um, show, I think, is not the answer to this. I think overall, my favorite show that I've watched has been Father Ted. I think as a whole, it's been the show that's made me laugh the most, and the show I've been most invested in, the show I look the most forward to, is Father Ted. However, I think the most complete show I've ever watched is probably Only Fools. Like, Only Fools is just one of the best shows, just like, in general, that I've ever seen. You know, like, it's a very, very complete show. So, I think Only Fools is probably the best show I've reacted to, but personal favorite is probably Father Ted. Could you react to more of Carl Pilkington? Definitely. The first episode did really well, the second episode did not as well, but well enough. Um, so I think I want to do the Mexico episode next. Love this country so much, it's probably the most British show that's ever been created. I'm hoping there's not too many uh, obscure British references for you. Uh, and that's a great Undertaker and Kane reference in the upcoming episode, which I know you appreciate though. Well, good news, uh, the reaction on Daily Motion is now at 1.7 as far as views go. And my requirement to do a sequel on Daily Motion is 1.5. So we'll definitely see that second episode at some point here. What are the only modern comedies that's actually been good? Talk about this country then. And this was my concern in doing this because uh, this is not typical uh, for a YouTuber, but maybe it is for a smaller one. But my audience is majority, I, I think about 65% of my audience compared to, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? According to the YouTube uh, analytics, about 65% of my audience is in between the ages of 18 and 34. If you want the exact statistics, I have them right here. So only 7.2% of my audience is between the ages of 13 and 17. 36.5 is between the ages of 18 and 24. Uh, 26.8 between the ages of 25 and 34. 13.8 between the ages of 35 and 44, and 10.2 between the ages of 45 and 54. And it seems my audience is usually attracted to older shows, typically 90s shows and early 2000s, so I wasn't sure how a newer show like This Country was going to do, but I thought it was great. And, uh, I, and, and aside from aside from the in-betweeners, I should say, obviously, you know, that's probably where that's probably where the majority of my 18 from 24 from 24 audience comes from, to be honest, is just from the in-betweeners. I, I imagine, I'm not saying that 25 to 34 didn't enjoy it, but I imagine they probably come from the other stuff as well. But the majority of the 18 for 24 probably come from the in-betweeners. But aside from the in-betweeners and I guess Misfits, there wasn't really a newer show like 
besides those two that had that, uh, was well received. So I'm glad this got well received as well because I really enjoyed it. There's an American version of this country in production set in Idaho. Oh boy. I don't know if I envisioned that going well, but I guess we'll see what happens. See you guys for episode three of Benidorm in October 2021. Hey man, hey man. Let's calm down. <laughs> the episode's bombing hard though, I gotta say, so there may not be a third episode, but uh, I'm sure it might pick up over time. Sticky Vicky is real, too real. Oh yes, I know. I put her into the Google machine after I saw that episode and I saw her act and it's, uh, it's as described. Oh my god, I'm so happy there's another episode of this. Thank you, this is gonna be a series. Well, again, it depends on how episode two ends up doing over time. It has bombed hard early on, uh, but I don't know if episode one did great to start either. I think it picked up more as it went along. So as long as the same effect is brought on two, then yeah, I could continue it in the future. The problem with Benidorm is it doesn't go down as a classic comedy because they didn't stop making it when they should have. By the end, it was awful. Got you. That seems like a problem with a lot of American shows. It's, it makes so much money that they don't know when to stop and they just keep going and going and going. Like The Simpsons, for example. Simpsons have been going for like 20 years too long at this point, but they ain't gonna never stop making it because it still makes the money. I won't spoil it, but the next episode of the IT crowd is the best in most people's opinions. All, all of them are great. Interesting. So the peak episode, huh? Well, hopefully people still enjoy the series after that one, but I am definitely intrigued for next month now. Yeah, the to be continued thing was a joke. They never followed up on what happened to the end there. According to DVD commentary, commentary there's a single line alluding to it uh, mid-season two episode when Jen's house, Moss states that Harry knows where the bathroom is, but it got cut. Okay, yeah, it kind of seemed like a joke to me, because I, when I saw it to be continued, I'm like, with how this show is, this is, would be such a weird storyline to follow up on, even if it is the end of a series. So I had kind of had a feeling it was a joke. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for another episode of reading your comments. Per usual, if you want a chance to get your comment read next week, just comment down below in the comment section. The comments in this video were pulled from last week's episode of reading your comments, American Rex to this country, American Rex to IT Crowd 6, and American Rex to Benidorm 2. So this reading your comments video and the uh, American Rex to Black Books 3 and whatever reaction, ever reaction video there is in between that now and next reading your comments are the places to comment to get a chance to get your comment read next week. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, or I stream every single day, my second channel for instant views, my Twitter. If you want to follow me on my Patreon, if you want to support me on my daily motion, all those things are down in the description down below. Thank you to all 42 of my Patrons currently named in the description for your support of me and my channel. I appreciate you guys. Also, in the description is like the community Reddit as well as the daily schedule. For all that being said, though, my name is Taffrey. My name is Taffrey Steen. This has been another episode of Reading Your Comments, and I'll see you guys next time.